the product of two positive consecutive odd integers is 195. Determine the two integers. Below we have a list of positive consecutive odd integers. We have 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, 13, and so on. Notice how, notice how if we start at a positive odd integer, to get the next odd integer, or the next consecutive odd integer, we add two. Which means for our problem, we can let x equal a positive odd integer, and we can let the expression x plus two equal the next consecutive odd integer. Because we are given the product of the two positive consecutive odd integers is 195, we can answer the question by setting up and solving the equation x times the quantity x plus two equals 195. We begin by simplifying the left side by clearing the parentheses, which means we now distribute x. x times x equals x squared, plus x times two is two x equals 195. Notice how we have a quadratic equation. To solve the equation by factoring, the next step is to set one side of the equation equal to zero. Let's set the right side equal to zero by subtracting 195 on both sides of the equation. Simplifying, on the left we have x squared plus two x minus 195 equals on the right side, the difference is zero. If the left side of the equation does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors, where because the first term is x squared, the first term in each binomial factor is x. To determine the constants of the two binomial factors, we need to determine the factors of negative 195 that add to positive two. To help us do this, let's first determine the prime factorization of 195. 195 is equal to five times 39, five is prime, 39 is equal to three times 13, both of which are prime. We now know the prime factorization of 195 is equal to three times five times 13. And now we can use these factors to help us determine the factors of negative 195 that add to positive two. Notice three times five is 15, which tells us that 15 times 13 equals 195, and therefore, if we're looking for the factors of negative 195 that add to positive two, we can write negative 195 as negative 13 times positive 15. And because negative 13 plus positive 15 does equal positive two, these are the two factors that we need to factor the trinomial on the left side of the equation. One factor is x minus 13, the other binomial factor is x plus 15. The product on the left is equal to zero when x minus 13 equals zero, or when x plus 15 equals zero. Solving for x here, we add 13 to both sides, giving us x equals 13. Solving for x here, we subtract 15 on both sides, giving us x equals negative 15. But x cannot equal negative 15, because we are told we have two positive consecutive odd integers and therefore we can exclude x equals negative 15, and now we know the solution is x equals 13. Going back up to the top, we now know the first positive odd integer is equal to 13, and if x is equal to 13, x plus two is equal to 13 plus two, which equals 15. We now know the two positive consecutive odd integers that have a product of 195 are 13 and 15. I hope you found this helpful.